Talia. I, I played a little bit of the sap weekly on my phone this week, and I was going pog crazy. But honestly, it should be illegal to play sap on your phone on Monday because the the players that they are sending to the Android version of the game are they take their mom's phone and play Super Auto Pets. That's my only. I, I don't want to insult them too much, but like, wait, no, you can make. 10 mistakes and get 10 wins in 12 rounds on your phone. If, you, if you're doing it on the PC, if you ever make one mistake, Billy Billy XP is going to beat you nine consecutive times in a row. Okay, we got two threes, we got three twos, we got two threes. There are mods this weekly, so you got to be a little careful. Let me be a famous investor. Warren Buffett. Stan Drunkenmiller. Charlie, Charlie Munger. Andy Reid, open parentheses, orc. Give me one of these, one of these. Buy when there's ducks in the street, Warren Buffett. Okay, we got a level coming our way. I would freeze you too. You move up here. Yeah, that, I love this. I love the way this looks right now. If you were in an epic rap battle of history, who do you think you'd go up against? Great question. Wow, it's level two otter. You can't do much about that. I would say... Um, Probably put me up against another prominent Canadian uh, YouTuber. Maybe they would put me up against... Oh, Germa's a good answer. German, but I think Germa and Ludwig would have to go up against each other if they were doing an epic rap battles of history. Like, that, that's just a better setup, honestly. I'm trying to think of who they would put me up against. Squeaks? I, I can't even carry Squeaks' jockstrap. I mean, he's, uh, he's got me beat in Streamer Awards nominations this year for sure. Who's he nominated for? Most Baked? Best Baker? I, yeah, me and, me and Sips could make a, a good one, or me, me and Malf or something like that. Okay, let me get, uh, let me get an Owl, just because it is stats. We'll get a second Owl, probably. I don't know if he's heard of second Owls, Pippin. Let's, let's unwind this duck to get a, a slightly better Owl out there. Not in love with the squad, but you don't have to be in love with the squad on round three. Do you have the owl badge? I don't know. I'm gonna guess that I, I probably do at this stage in my life, but I mean, let's not worry about badges. Let's worry about like protecting the believers money right now. I'm gonna give you this just because you're our best unit as, as the crow flies. And we're gonna set up for next round with another level on another duck. Who would have thought? You have the react thing now. Do you have moments? I do not have moments, but I do have the react thing. You can now, when a, when a lull-worthy moment happens in my stream, you can now react with lull. You, you could react with a variety of different things, I suppose, depending on how... <laughs> you, might, you might react with a not like this when if you're a doubter and something amazing happens. You might react with a not like this if you're a, if you're a believer and something terrible happens. I think I am going to throw a donkey onto the squad. Uh. Osmataz Buckshank. You know what's big this weekly? Is um, pillable animals. So you can pill a flamingo you can, uh, in front of an ox, no less. You can pill uh, a betta fish. I'm going to sell the beaver. Actually, I'm going to sell the beaver. I'm going to sell the marmoset. That's, that's terrible luck, but it is what it is. And I'm going to buy two betta fish for the time being. And I'm not going to use my rerolls until next turn because we have a higher tier shop. Okay. I'm not confident this round. You could pill a swan. That's true. And in Night City, what makes you a criminal? Getting caught. <laughs> Sorry, wait, what is it? I'll take my draw happily. I think we should take our level first. I'm not going to pill you just yet. I'm also not going to buy an octopus because it's uh, it's detritus. You know what? What do you give? Eight four? I mean, that's nutty, dude. Let's. I mean, we're this, we're going a little psychotic here. But give me a sell into a pill just to make this. I mean, this kangaroo is a real self starter. And we're going to roll half squatted here, and that's that's okay. Get you next round. It's like it looks like this, this, this. Roll me. 
garlic on that front kangaroo. Okay, it's a little, it's a little nutty. It's a little nutty. That's a big play. That's a big donkey. I will happily accept my victory here. I think we earned it. What's I'm not your dad, I knew your dad from? It's been driving me crazy. That's from Limmy playing um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. And uh, one at, at the cutscene where the village gets raided, one of the characters grabs another, like a young boy by the shoulders and says, listen to me. And then Limmy ad-libs, listen to me, I'm from the future. I'm not your dad, I'm from the future. We have things called computers. Inside you find something called electricity. Listen to me, I'm from the future. I'm not your dad. I knew your dad. It's, uh, it's just very good. It's very, maybe you had to be there, but I'm telling you, it's very good. Give me one of those. Don't give me, I mean, as a 4-6. So 4-6, we're going to be doing some pivoting, sure. Why, why not? Now, you would scale a tier 4, which is only a donkey. I would say I snooze on that one right now. Slug kangaroo. I've been shitting on slug kangaroo nonstop on my phone, okay? I'm not. Don't make me show you a screenshot from my Galaxy Tab 2, okay? You'll be so embarrassed. Never mind, they're going to go crazy on me here. <laughs> All right, they got me. Okay, fair enough. It's good. You know what? It's pretty good. It's a pretty good, pretty good setup you got there. Don't really want a pied tamarind. A turtle is a good pillable. You could you could pill this owl, man. Or I mean, you could pill the turtle in front of this owl. I mean to say, you're good, but I snooze on you. I'm sorry to say that I snooze on you. Now we should do something. Freeze me for a second here. Okay, 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 it is what it is, it is what it is, brother. I think it's something like this. I think we unfreeze you, move you back, you go here. Actually, no, like, like this. Kangaroo's a little far back, but it's life. It's life in the business. I don't know what we're going to do. We have no late game ideas. We have no good car ideas on this one. We did screw up there, kangaroo, though. That's pretty sick. Why would you ever go Big Owl? Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Idiots will say things like, well, the Owl only has value when you sell it. Nah, dude, it's a 12-7. It's, it's got value as the crow flies as well. Not interested? Really, I'm looking for a pill to, to simplify the... Oh, you know, honestly, a shark would go crazy here. I'm still looking for a pill. I mean, this is, this is nuts, but. Pills still would go crazy for our shark here. I don't even know if there's crocodiles this week. Okay, your hippo, it's, it's embarrassing for you. How bizarre, how bizarre. You see any whales when you visited Alaska? Did we ever? We went on a whale watching trip. I don't want to brag. We saw the, uh, we saw the dorsal fin of I would say three whales. That's like a hundred bucks a whale. Not a good deal. <laughs> but there is not that much you could do, it turns out, to guarantee. While being kind to the animals, there is not that much you can do in order to get the whales to pop up. You are at the mercy of Mother Nature. And that's beautiful. There's something beautiful about that. Now that you summon an orangutan, I don't, uh, I don't care about you as much. I do care about this. And I care about this. And I, I care about an orca, too. Absolutely. Just go ahead. We're on five wins, round ten. Not much scaling, but there's something here. A lot of tourists in Finland get angry when we can't turn on the northern lights. I could see that. I, I mean, this is like a... It's the most psychotic, like, privilege take of all time. But as someone that lives in Canada... When we were in Iceland, the hotel that we were staying at is like, hey, just so you know, like we expect the Northern Lights are going to start tonight at like 4.30 p.m. Would you like us to give you a call when the, when the lights start? I said, like, I said no, but in my head I was like, are you crazy? 
Do I want you to give me a wake-up call at like 4.30 a.m. to see the Northern Lights? I used to just see that shit like over my house once a year. It's not, I'm not saying it's not spectacular. I'm just saying like, you know, you've kind of been there, done that. I remember the smell of Iceland. It has, it, it does have a sulfurous aroma, but honestly, I kind of like it. So it's crazy, but we are, we're pilling you in order to create a, that's just not smart. I'm not going to level you. Roll me again. Give me my level first. That's a great pillable. We can wait for it though. I want to see a pill, a pill. Yeah, in Vancouver, we don't see the northern lights. There's, there's like way too much light pollution. I don't know what is this. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I don't know if like um, on a latitudinal level, if, if you got me, I got to give you some credit on that one. If, if we could see them, but we definitely don't see them. Level me. What a, what a squad, man. I would say pill me. Interesting. A little lucky, for sure. Why don't you go here? Why don't you go here? Worst vacation spot you've been to? I don't want to insult Boston, Massachusetts. A lot of nice people live there, I'm told. I guess they stay inside of their house most of the time. Well, this is scary. Am I okay? Yeah, yeah, like relatively. You got a steak on you that's just ignorant. You could probably go now. I've, I've been enjoying what you've brought to the squad, but it's probably time. Let's get you out of here. Then we can afford a little buy sell. Good, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, good, really smart. Um, <laughs> um, I don't, the monkeys don't really fit the theme of the squad right now, unfortunately. I wish they did. We gotta do something. That is true. Well, um, so here's the squad. Gotta say, I'm a little pessimistic for this round, personally. But we'll see. This squad doesn't look like all that in a bag of potato chips. It just, it's just a squad. Of, it's just normal men. A relatively big ox. It's not going to hold a candle to the shark. Two mammoths is pretty rare for me. Oh, never mind. It's going to... It's not quite going to hold a candle to the shark. Why not? Go ahead. Okay. One day we're going to pill you. I, I, one day that pill is going to come. And then it's... Then I'm going to make the whole universe my slave. That is, this squad is something special. This is a scary one. We need that to hit slug. It did not hit slug. That's pretty horrendous. Would have done some real damage on the slug, though. That's... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. No, no, we're toast. Okay, it's a big duck. She said, let's hit the parking lot so I can sick your duck. No pills. No PLs. Another kangaroo. You know, I'd rather have double death touch right now. I'm sorry. To, I'm moving you up to the front just to... So we wanted to maximize our odds of hitting units that are not that good. Like hitting the slug and the shark. My, hitting the, actually the mammoth and the slug is probably best. Very rude what you've done to me. It's so our shark our shark has to solo it and our shark cannot solo it. Because the, the steak on the goose is gonna kill us. Okay, fair enough. We got seven. I think we could have done better. I honestly when we got no pills, that's where it all started to fall apart for me. Give me give me seven. We were kinda we, we lost our way in the mid game too. That I mean we we weren't doing that hot in the early game either. I, we got seven? That's, that doesn't seem possible. OK. 
Okay, let me get a, uh, let me, let me be sniffing shirts, like, straight out the dryer. What, you don't like sniffing shirts? Who doesn't like sniffing shirts straight out the, the dryer? It's a beautiful smell. I love that like, there's like 90 sniffers in a row in chat, and then like one person is trying to do a post-mortem. Like on turn six, you probably should have sold your owl rather than invest in it because it puts you behind the eight ball when it came to scaling for the rest of it. And just like sniffer, 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 just a wave of sniffers just pushing the, <laughs> the well-reasoned uh, post-mortem off the board. Gets me every time. Hey, you know what? I can't in good conscience recommend this. But it's kind of funny to just have a level three like right off the bat. That beaver is sticking with us till the end of time. The blowfish, I'm not sold on. That sucks. <laughs> okay, we need we need garlic. Croissant. Per no, garlic is going to be more important. Holy cow! We'll get you next time. Why don't you take one more of these for the moment? Once we get garlic, it's over, man. Well, this unit... Sh oh, my God, it's a broken egg. I... I he, he called this shot. This build doesn't work. This get ready. Like, honestly, I, I think we're going to 10. I, that sounds crazy, given, like, how the run has gone so far. But look at this. Like, we've already got our scaling engine set up. What would I do next? I would probably just, I'd add a bat until we get another scaler. And then give the bat some honey. I'm feeling really good about this one, quite honestly. Like, I think if we get some garlic, our team's going to be scaling like crazy. You would be a 2-5, you piece. Never mind, we win. Go ahead, bat me. It's the bat. Garlic me. They gave me garlic. It's over for you. Give me a little double scaling. Give me a little garlic scaling. I would absolutely put garlic on our marmoset as well. It's my ride or die. We're sticking with it. Please, what is this team? This is... It's good! You're gonna learn the area of your ways. Like, you'd lose two rounds early, but you set up the beautiful scaling for the late game. You got nothing to worry about, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Now that you can go, we can add one of you instead. I'd love to see a bat. No bat. Roll me once. Roll me again. A another dragonfly. I'm sorry, but like, we gotta we gotta go a little sicko mode here. I mean, it's it's all of it's rise over run, man. You want to get the scaling as high as possible here. Sell the marmoset. Have you lost your damn mind? Because I'll help you find it. Nobody would have given this team a shot. And we just ran over... What was this? Kangaroo, shark, ox, turtle? Like that... It's a, it's a gimme. Okay, how about one of these? And then honestly, give me like two more of those. This might be worse for our marmoset now, but... We'll get a little broad scaling. <laughs> Holy cow. My garlic! Still pretty good. How about another dragonfly? Okay, we could, we could add something else to the squad. I mean, a lion could actually go off here. If we can get it leveled. The macaque is like no good anymore. Well, it's not as good. I would add a lion to the team. And then I would just get this to level two. It's kind of crazy. No, I can't put you on the squad because then you'll ruin the lion's ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, as as we stand by by Odin's beard, I would just give you that and I'll move the lion up a little bit. You're going to be a 15-15. This is a nightmare team to go up against, man. 
It's possible we don't get the 10, but it's looking pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, this snake I, I take offense to at this stage of the game. I think that you've, you've created a pretty strong team here, Stinky Steve, but I'm, I'm insulted by the snake slug. We don't ever need you to level, but... Oh, actually, leveling up is kind of bad for you, because it's going to... No, actually, it's good, because it guarantees that the... No, it's kind of... Because the dragonflies will buff each other, but the... Mm, I gotta think about it. <laughs> I don't really want you to take stats away from the beaver and force you to buff each other. That's... Oh, you're absolutely right. Well, who are we going to give the donut to? We don't need to give the donut to the lion. The lion's already guaranteeing itself the, the, the stats. I honestly think you just, you try to create an even bigger dragonfly. And you don't worry about level 3 marmoset just yet. If it happens, good. If it doesn't happen, it's, it's even better. Chocolate Lion also makes sense. No doubt about that. And this is the first team I've seen in a bit that actually, it scares me. That's a strong looking team, Bird Floater. You know you're doing well when a draw feels like a, the, the worst loss you've ever experienced. Okay, now you're at tier three. No steak required yet. No apple. Okay, steak required. I guess if you're, if you're gonna force my freaking hand, then sure, give me a steak required. And then why don't you just move up slightly? You can move up as well. It's a pretty strong team for round 11. I should not be handed power in video games. Because, like, now that I, I basically got the luckiest shops of all time, and uh, you know what my first reaction is? I, I want to, every time another team stacks up poorly against me, I want to say, eat shit. It's the first words out of my mouth, eat shit. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, you really thought? I could beat you even if I feed an apple to my lion. Eat shit. I'm just joking. I don't think this team is... Well, I don't know, man. You never know, I suppose. Well, I mean, we know, but they, you're supposed to say you never know. How about one more dragonfly? How about three more dragonflies? Some chocolates? Can you give me something like half these? I'm not buying ice cream at this stage of my, my existence. Okay, you could be like a 50-50 real quick. Oh, but then you're not guaranteed to get the levels anymore. Well, it's, it's probably okay. I mean, you're a 50-50. Why do I need you to have the stats anyway, now that I think about it? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> oh, now they, oh, hang on. This is a strong looking team here. In theory. In principle. Top of the dung heap. I guess we'll taco up a little bit. Here's the deal. It would, because I expect us to win this round, it would be nicer to get the Marmoset to level 3. We got the badge, but it's just a flex. This is losable. I can't believe I'm saying it, but there's some losability here. Well, there's some... There's some losability here. Holy cow, I can't believe it. Honestly, forget your garlic. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to give you some pita instead. I'm going to level you because we, we may not win this one. I thought for sure. I thought it was guaranteed, honestly. Don't tell Harry. Strong lad. Okay, level three, like, walrus. It scares the heck out of me. Oh my god, it's genius! What the hell? We're going up against the, the Stephen Hawking? Seagull in the slug? It's unbelievable. I'm gonna do that myself. No! <laughs> oh. Take one of these. Seagull slug. I am I am peepo geeing. Okay, it's not seagull slug. Wasted pita. 
I had the same thing happen to me. It's it's the smartest play I've ever seen in, in all my years. I still think we're going yard on this one. Holy cow, could you summon like a few less units? This might be a draw, actually. No, it's a win. <laughs> All right, that's 10. It was a little closer than I thought it would be, though. Once we got those dragonflies, I thought it was like... Good night, nurse. Start a prediction. How many wins will we get? By the way, I was happy to when I went to the Costco in Everett, Washington, and let me listen, okay? You're, now you're sending me off on a, a little bit of a rant because I was on r slash Bellingham trying to squash the beef with Bellingham. Top post of the week. Is there an escalator anywhere in town? Every single post? No, there hasn't been an escalator in, in uh, Bellingham ever since J.C. Penney moved to the mall in 1987. You're really, like, Bellingham is out here firing shots. Their whole town doesn't even have a second story anywhere. Like, it's, it's actually madness, okay? Then, like, later, I went to go to r slash Bellingham to see if anybody posted my tweet where I made fun of them. And they're going off! Please, avoid Trader Joe's today! Oh my god! It's President's Day, but it's also a long weekend in BC. The parking lots are inundated by BC drivers. They're coming up here to steal my milk. Oh, we really need to put a one or two dollar toll on the border to stop these people from coming over and buying our Trader Joe's General So's chicken bites that go so good in the air fryer. Me in Bellingham, when I see two other people at the grocery store. Why the fuck is it so busy? Not to mention, your asses are always going off about BC drivers. Me trying to go from Everett to Vancouver yesterday. There's three fucking places between Everett and Vancouver before the U.S. border, the U.S. to Canada border, where people actually live. Every single one of them, bumper to bumper traffic, a car like spun out on the side of the road upside down. You want to talk about bad drivers? It's literally, it was raining. It was raining. They can't keep their cars on the road. And then everybody goes, just stops at a freaking standstill. Because they, when they drive by it, whoa, look at that. Another Washington plate upside down in the ditch. Oh, but Canadian drivers making it take an extra 0.75 seconds for me to park in the Trader Joe's because the General Tso's air fryer chicken bites are so... Shut the hell up! Have some respect, man. I'm not saying you should be, oh, thank you for visiting my country and uh, buying our milk and helping out the... Lo like, I'm not a psycho. I'm just saying, like, be nice. You think I've never had a situation in Vancouver where, like, people... Uh, I, I see someone try to pay with American dollars at a restaurant, and then when the server's like, this is not America, they're like, yeah, but our money's worth more? You think I gotta make a post about... It's what happens when you live in a small town, is, like, people are generally nice to each other, so if you're ever inconvenienced... PSA! If you're merging onto the highway, but it's all... it's busy, you don't just merge whenever you can merge. There's something called a zipper merge, I know because I summered in New York City once, and then... Listen, just fucking chill out, go to the co-op, have a beautiful breakfast sandwich, go to the donut place everybody likes, be nice to the people around you, why you... You're up there in Bellingham being like it's the Canadians that are making Bellingham uninhabitable. Nobody's fucking heard of it except for people that live in BC, okay? Don't flatter yourself. Just try, just be nice! Plus, I don't flatter yourself. I'll, you know, I'm, I'm happy to do the extra 45-minute extra drive. I'll go down to Linwood, which they graced, thank you so much, with a Shake Shack. And I look people in the eyes there and it looks like they're happy to see me even though I got a Canadian flag on my hat. Don't worry, don't worry, Bellingham. I won't stop in your town and fly out of your airport anymore that has Spirit and Allegiant as the main carriers. Yeah, next, oh, I think I'll just fly YVR to SFO next time. I won't bother with like a two hour trip across the border, get harassed by like a US customs agent for absolutely no reason because I have the audacity to have like a toddler and like a, a Coke Zero in my cup holder. Um, go a little bit further, go to Bellingham. Uh, there's not really like a restaurant once you get past security, but you could get like a cold egg salad sandwich from like this gas station kiosk that we've got nearby and then fly into Oakland and then take a bus from Oakland to the BART station and then take the BART to San Francisco just to save 35 bucks, be condescended to by Allegiant Airlines hostesses the whole time we're in the air? Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm going, okay? <laughs>
I'm just saying, be nice. <laughs> I guess it's a little hypocritical, but... It's crazy. I never realized, like, how much people from Bellingham, they got it out for Canada, man. Then somebody in that thread was like, um, we shouldn't be so hard on the Canadians. They've kept Bellingham out of a recession a few times. So then people are like, we don't need him anymore. We got, like, a rail terminal. I'm like, dude, you, you realize you live, like, an hour away from the border. I wouldn't, you know, how many times are you going to be surprised that the grocery store is busy when both countries have a long weekend before you start, like, looking inward to examine your own behavior? Like, come on. Like, I recognize that I live, like, a, a 30 minute drive away from another country, but have you ever noticed how many people from another country come here to visit? By the way, great day trip from Bellingham is just drive across the border. You can spend a little bit of time in Vancouver. They got great brunch spots. Maybe you could even talk, uh, you hop on the BC Ferry, go to Victoria, go to Nanaimo. Hey, go to Point Roberts. You can cross the border twice. You'll still be in America. It's like, they got no, there's no symmetry, okay? They don't apply it to them. When I see a Washington plate in Vancouver, you know what I think of? Oh, of course there's Washington plates. We got Washington, we got Texas, we got Massachusetts, New York, BC. Ontario, Alberta, Idaho, because fucking people come visit our province. They come visit my city. And when I see them, I don't immediately go, oh, you're why it's so busy. You know why I, I, I recognize it's so busy everywhere is because it's fucking nice here. People want to come here for vacation and people want to live here as well. Now, obviously, normally in Bellingham, it's, oh, I, uh, there's seven cashier lanes open at the Trader Joe's, but I, there's not a line for any of them. It's so beautiful, wide open spaces. Me, when I have to wait in line for three minutes in order to buy a pint of milk. Whoa! Just fucking relax, man. Anyway, we're gonna try puppy, okay? Give me a flamingo, it's very pillable. Not that sold on you, pretty sold on you. And then we freeze it right here. I would take a second moth momentarily. I want to like Bellingham. It's the closest population center in Washington to British Columbia, okay? But they're making it real hard. First off, all the anti-Canadian rhetoric anytime their grocery store parking lot has more than three cars in it. And then the other thing is that they don't have a damn escalator and that's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. You really don't have like a shopping mall with two levels or something. It doesn't even have to be like a sprawling Mall of America type thing. I'm just... <laughs> Like anything with a that, that warrants escalating. Wyoming has two escalators in the entire state. Well, then they 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 they're ahead of Bellingham on the state level. But I mean, like, come if you're in Wyoming and you're like, yeah, get them. Listen, you just relax. You're spared by the fact that I've never been there. Okay, give me one of these. We'll talk about this. I, I think I would rather... It's a, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. You gotta go at some point. Let's, let's make that point right now. Puppy me regardless. It's, it's, only gonna, it's only gonna hit the puppy, but it's nice. It's nice to have. I love my Costco gold card. This whole thing started, okay? Because I wanted to... Mentioned I was at the Everett Costco. I was very pleased with the free samples that they had on offer there. <clears throat> I had a, um, I had a bit of arugula pizza, and I had um, some Tillamook cheddar cheese. And I gotta tell you, the arugula pizza, that was like, oh, I wonder what this tastes like. The uh, the Tillamook cheddar cheese, I was like, I stole that cheese. That was not a free sample, because I know what cheese tastes like. That was just for me. Why am I buying? It's just an apple. Roll me. Give me, a, give me a better chance for pills. Take your level right now and then put you down and get another level next turn. You might stick around for a bit, man, for all I know. Ooh, oh, this is a strong kangaroo, though. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No, oh, is it unfortunate? No, it's not unfortunate at all. It's very fortunate. She on my mook till I chatter. So true. I'm smoking on the shit that made Ebenezer Scrooge. I was trying to figure out how to um, how to make this tweet, but because it's it's hard because there's no emphasis on the internet, right? Like in, there's no tone indicators in text. 
I wanted to tweet, <clears throat> I want to smoke the shit that made Calvin Coolidge. But it, the, the emphasis is so precise. Because like, what do you mean you want to smoke the shit that created Calvin Coolidge? I don't want to smoke the shit that created Calvin Coolidge. I want to make, I want to smoke the shit that made Calvin embody Coolidge. You know what I mean? The trait of Coolidge. I want to smoke the shit that made Calvin Coolidge. Thank you for the raid, by the way. You're, you're genuinely entering the stream at psychotic hours. I don't know if you're familiar with my content. This <laughs> is... I have I've been going the fuck off on nothing on 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 only things that I care about or even understand. A pill. They do exist. I don't think we need you. I think we're going pill strats. I want to smoke the shit that made Calvin Coolidge. I want to smoke the shit they gave Or Morpheus before he went glasses shopping. It's a great genre of tweet. I'm going to die. As one of your three Bellingham viewers, we appreciate the recognition. Honestly, here's the thing. I don't hate, Be I don't hate everybody in Bellingham. I just hate the Bellingham, the, the subredditors. I guess like, it, you'd think the same if you were like, if you went to r slash Vancouver. I, I've never hated Vancouverites more than when I go to r slash Vancouver. And I've never loved living in Vancouver more than when I just like go for a walk outside and when I make eye contact with someone on the seawall, just giving them like a polite nod. Then I go on r slash Vancouver. Does anybody else hate that we have no protected lefts in the city and then people try to do a California left and my car got hit and exploded? Uh, anyway, you get, listen, I'm not, I'm not... <laughs> It's, it's memes, okay? I'm not actually insulting Bellingham. Well, I'm ex insulting the, the, the Bellingham subredditors, but that's it. Go ahead, give me a level two. It's all about the scaling, and it's all about the Pentiums. Give me one of those. I, I just love pill scaling. I know we're, we're rolling half squatted here. Just let it work. Melon Flamingo? Well, yeah, but it's got a, it's got a moth as well. Well, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna go down to two life. Some bald dude nods at me on the seawall. I think I'm gonna get mugged. I don't know if we do muggings here. I'm not suggesting that like robbery doesn't exist. People get stabbed now and then. Sometimes by a knife, sometimes by like a, uh, like a needle. Um, What the hell am I doing? What is this? What have I done? Sell me? Scale me? There's only one way out. You guys got road rage up there? Me personally? Yeah. Broadly? Well, you know what I will say? And this is like, I'm being very positive to Washington here. I love driving in the parts of Washington where people don't live. Um, and I'm not afraid who knows it. In Vancouver, people give you no space. If you ever uh, take more than one eighth of one microsecond in order to figure out like what you're gonna do, you're getting honked at. If pedestrians are crossing when you're turning right, people are like getting up on your ass, like, come on, go, 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 go. Like they just want you to kill the, the person that is crossing the street. Driving around Mount Vernon, driving around Everett, Muckleteo, Mill Creek. I felt like people were giving me space. I was giving them space. It's just, I think when you're not around as many people, your, your people are a little bit less tilted to begin with. They're like more patient. They're giving people like, uh, you know, you're saluting them when they let you into traffic. It's, it's just a nice situation. But then the thing is, like if, more people lived there because it was so pleasant to be there. Well, then there would be a lot more traffic and it would all fall apart. So, <laughs> I don't. You were in Mill Creek? I've been everywhere, man. No, not like this. 10, 2? 
One? Okay, we made it. Why do all Canadians drive 20 over the speed limit in Washington? Well, it's because when you come from... I, I was telling Kate this. When I'm driving to Washington, while I'm in BC, I'm getting passed by everybody on the highway. While I'm in Washington, I'm passing everybody. And I don't change my speed that much. It's like the only thing that's changing is, is the way that people around me drive. It's, we got a pretty aggressive driving environment in, in the lower mainland. People are they're, they're out for blood. I should have kept another monkey available here. Go ahead. We need to buy two units. <laughs> this is not good. This is like really bad. <laughs> Roll me once. I know we can't buy it. Okay, well, you know what? That, that was maybe the only way out of that. The boar was another possibility, but at least we're getting two units out, although one of them is a 2 2. I can't believe we're going to five. Like, this team, it didn't seem like it had it. Also, like, I, I, I apologize, because it's like, it's not a nice thing to say. But, like, I realized I'm not accepting any more sass from Washington drivers, because fucking every time I drive home from Washington to Vancouver, my ass gets caught in northbound traffic because people are crashing their fucking cars on the I-5 all the time. I know, you're like, it's not my fault. Okay, I'm just saying, like at some point, it's like, for some reason, southbound, like to Seattle, you get traffic, but it's usually not like accidents. Northbound, anytime you're passing, I couldn't believe it when we went through. Anybody here from Bellingham? Terrible crash, apparently, just past Iowa Street. Kept my ass in traffic for 45 minutes, thinking I really should have had that sandwich back at the Fred Meyer in, in Everett before we left. But I was like, oh, we'll be home in two hours. We got Nexus. She was driving me crazy, man. Sitting there, getting mad at the person. It's like, you, it's not a good habit. I'm getting mad at the person who's in the car accident. I'm like, could you just, could you have some consideration for the people around you and not crash your car? Some of us are trying to get home. We got a, we got a toddler in the car who like needs to eat dinner and then also go to bed at a reasonable hour. I'm going. I'm going. I'm choosing not to worry about uh, scaling the puppy. I'm well, actually, no. So no, I'm choosing not to worry about the macaque either. We're gonna take one round off from that. I'm gonna figure out what the hell we're doing. So in summary, just relax and be nice. Yes, I. Um, I mean, I should be nice to the person who's in the accident. I mean, I don't want them to be dead. I just want them to move their car to the side, which is kind of rude, but okay, there's seven. So you have to go. Let's try it. Let's, let's try to get an octopus off the, off the blocks here. Certainly not giving you any guarantees here, but... I don't know. I, I feel like this team has come about as far as it can go. My squad? Um, don't hit my octopus, you piece of shit. Wait a minute. Is their team just like a joke? Oh, their team was just like a joke! Never mind. <laughs> Why are you giving a 50 attack unit death touch? What if they got... It's a, well, it's just a, listen, okay? <laughs> it's just the way the order shook out. Why do birds suddenly appear every time that you're near? I don't know the answer to all this, all this stuff. I'm not, I'm not God or your father or your boss. I don't think we're getting level three monkey. You got to use your brain on this one. I'm not too worried about that either. At this point, you should honestly take a pita. And a little lettuce, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm gonna override my pita with my freaking death touch, unless they have a hedgehog or a blowfish or an octopus. Or a snake, perhaps. Mayhaps a snake. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Never ask me questions ever again. Get smoked. You really don't need to level up. We need something on this turn that's going to do something for us. We need chocolate for our octopus. I'm not worried about that. You know what? You know what? This, this actually is perfect. Even with the pita, you could get hit big. No, that's not how that's going to... Wait a minute. Let me think about this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Chocolate? Oh! Okay, let me think about it. You should still be at the front. You should still be at the front. Do I want to run? Would I really want to override a melon? <laughs> Let's walk it through. We usually want an octopus to the front. We don't want a walrus to override any of these two pieces of equipment. So this is one way we could load out the team. And then it's like a surprise octopus at the end to trick them. The downside of not having the octopus at the front is that we screw up the melon armor. Or we, we don't break the melon armor of units that otherwise could have... Oh. Eaten shit. What the hell? It all fell apart? It wasn't even close? Well, I'll still take nine. There were people who said we were getting two on that one, so I'll take it. <laughs>